afternoon. It's the 3rd of October. My name's Liz and I've never seen Mean Girls. So today has not gone as planned. It was slightly drizzly when we woke up, that's fine. Um, I was going to go into the garden with James and sort of say this is how I was going, I want to proceed from here where we need to dig, weed, plant, whatever. And then it started raining again, so we couldn't. James has now gone off to the shops and I was going to go to the town, sort of one bus journey up, to deliver some guide badges. Only this morning, I was channel surfing and I flicked onto Sky Arts and I found a programme which is called The Third Day, colon, Autumn, which is a live theatrical performance filmed on OC Island, which I think runs alongside the um, TV programme The Third Day, starring Jude Law. I mean, Jude Law is in this one as well. So yeah, the description. Punch Drunks Felix Barrett and summer director Mark Munden present Autumn, a theatrical broadcast taking you deeper into the world of The Third Day. Sounds fair enough. Then I looked at the start and end times. This whole thing is a 12 hour theatre performance. It's being streamed on Facebook and it's also live on Sky Arts. No advert breaks. And I started watching it and I was like, yeah, this is a bit weird. I mean, I've never seen anything by Punch Drunk. I know people who have and have, are absolutely addicted to it, but I never have. So yeah, they were, I was watching this going, this is all a bit weird. This is a bit stupid. And then about five hours later, four or five hours later, I'm still watching. Of that, one whole hour was just watching Jude Law dig a hole. That's what happens. That's what 2020 has done to us. <laughs> if you go on Twitter, all sorts of people are commenting on it. And the biggest comment at the moment seems to be, have I just sat and watched Jude Law digging a hole for an hour? Is, is this actually what's happening? So yeah, that's that's what I've done this afternoon. I do still need to go out and deliver the badges, but I'm kind of transfixed. I'm sitting here going, all right, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? It's, as the name would suggest, a, um, a reenactment of Jesus's last day on earth. We've had the Last Supper, which was all held waist deep in seawater. The, well, water, I presume it was seawater. Um, Garden of Gethsemane, the betrayal, and I think we're just about to get to the crucifixion. Um, so yeah, that's that's what Saturday's turned out as. This is not what I expected at all, in any way, shape, size, or form. What I'm going to have to do is get ready to go out and then record it. But to make sure that when I record it on the TiVo box, I haven't recorded stuff I've already seen. What I think I'm going to have to do is change to another channel, change back, so it starts from a baseline. Um, so yeah, that that was unexpected. Without any doubt whatsoever, that was unexpected. That's really, ow, that's heavy. Um, yeah, what are we going to do with this? <laughs> I don't know. You're directing this. It's all gone a bit apprentice. If you want to star in the video and direct it. Is that a carrot you've got in your hand? Yes. Oh, two carrots. Two carrots. Um, yeah. Come and have a look in here. I'm sure there was another carrot that yeah, fell out. Yeah, there was. If you look, come and have a look, mm -hmm. that's just all absolutely filled with um, roots. Mm -hmm. Surprising we got as much as we did from that. Mm -hmm. Yep. There was a reason why I was going to put gloves on. 
So it got to about quarter past five watching on the third day, the third day, and I just reached saturation point, which I knew would happen. Um, so come into the garden whilst it's still light. James and I have had a bit of a discussion about what we want to do with it. Because, um, yeah, it's all a little bit of a mess. Um, there is stuff that needs to be locked down from trees. I have a feeling it's about to start raining. I can kind of feel, I can feel and hear drops, which isn't good. I was waiting for my neighbour to finish with the sander, but I don't think that's going to happen. My plan for this afternoon was to sort out these sticks in this box here. These are twigs that have been cut from trees here um, and will be burnt at some later point. The reason they're in this box is because it has a lid and the idea is that it keeps it all dry. There we go. There's the sawing just finished. Um, sorry, sanding. The Yeah, the idea is that having the lid on the box keeps all the sticks dry so when we want to burn them we can. Unfortunately, it's been raining, the sticks are not dry um, and they're not in the box. So, yeah, that is my aim before nightfall. Just did an explanation, then realised I hadn't pressed the button. Short version, I've done it. Slightly longer version. Um, when I was clipping the twigs with the secateurs, they were going everywhere. What I have done, I hope, is collected all of these twigs that I was pinging all over the place. All of the twigs now fit in the bin, with the exception of the ones which were slightly too big to be um, put in. Oh, words, words. Yeah, so no, so there were some that were too thick to be cut in half by the secateurs. Those I've left out, they probably will fit in, but I would want to have them broken in half or broken into smaller bits somehow. And that's not going to happen now because it has just started to rain again, unsurprisingly. So me and the secateurs and the loppers and the compost bin, I mean the compost bin that we have in the kitchen for the kitchen waste, are all going to go inside where it's warm and dry. And there's no bugs.